Alright, g'day guys and welcome back tonight to another Obsidian video. Tonight we're going to be looking at templates. And templates are obviously incredibly useful. They help us enter a lot more information into the tool in a more efficient way, in a way that's obviously structured and controlled. Helps keep our brains on track and stops us from going down a rabbit hole of just entering endless information. Uh, for some people it helps them think outside the box for what they may be thinking. It might give you some ideas for, you know, uh, let's say uh, an NPC for example. It might enable you to create some more flavour text for your characters and sort of bring them to life at the table. But uh, regardless of how you use templates, they're, they're certainly useful. Now for this video I'm going to be specifically looking at sort of RPG flavoured templates, right? Um, I'm starting to have some ideas about templates that we can expand on in a later video, but sort of like markdown templates I guess, the code elements that go into Obsidian could also be put into templates, but let's focus on the RPG templates for now, so let's jump over to Obsidian and have a look. Alright, so you can see I've got Obsidian up here, um, obviously I've got uh, a, a vault that I'm working on currently, um, and over here we can see that I've got a templates folder, alright, pretend that's not there for now, let's go through and have a look at how to install this. So come down to the settings icon, we're going to click that and we're going to come up here to the core plugins. Now the difference between core plugins and community plugins, core plugins is made by the developer, obviously releases Obsidian, community plugins are made by community developers. So jump over to core plugins, if you haven't taken the opportunity to read through these and sort of have a look at what's off on offer, I certainly do recommend it. Uh, for example, outgoing links, you should certainly have that turned on uh, because that's your automatic linking. But for now, we need to come down here to this templates option. You can see that there's a checkbox here. Make sure that uh, that is checked. Now, as within all of our plugins, um, you, you really want to sort of install it, um, go through and enable it. And then down here, we should be able to see the uh, settings for it once it's been installed. So we'll click on that, have a bit of a look. This is important. So we can see here, um, we need to set up a folder for where our templates are going to sit and reside. So I've set up Z underscore templates. Um, I put the Z in for a sorting requirement. I want my templates to be out of sight, out of mind until I need them. So I put into the Z underscore templates. Date format, you can change that if you like. Um, I'm Australian, so I've gone date, date, month, month, year, year, year. Time format, I haven't changed. Now there's one other setting that we need to go and have a look at here, and that's to set up a hotkey. Now, if we come up here to hotkeys, all right, and you can see there's hotkeys for all sorts of things in Obsidian. So, you know, have a look, you might be able to speed yourself up. But if we type template into here, we can see that there's insert template, and this is the one that's important. Now, you can set this to whatever you like, um, but, you know, I, I've used Alt plus T, so you can see that option there. So go ahead and set a template, and obviously just remember the key that you're using for that template. All right, and that's it. We now have a working configuration for templates. Um, you might need to make this folder before you set it, obviously, but uh, outside of that, I think it should be pretty simple. Now, if we have a look in my templates folder, we can have a look at what I've done. And Railway guys will be looking at this and going, oh yeah, I can see what you've done. So I've replicated the story of the world templates in the mechanics gallery. And what I did is I went into Realmworks. I loaded up one of every topic in Realmworks. I added fake placeholder content into every snippet that existed in Realmworks. Um, and the reason for that is when you do an export out of Realmworks, if the snippet is empty, then Realmworks will remove that snippet. So I had to make sure there was information in every single snippet in every single topic that I wanted to export. I went ahead and did that. Um, I then imported that into my vault with um, Filing's um, Realmworks Output Formatter. Fantastic tool if you haven't tried it, it's, it's amazing. And what that's eventually done uh, or led me to is I now have a whole heap of templates. So if we have a look at these, you can see here that this is a quest template. So you know, it's got an overview, a profile, the beginning, the relationships, completion, everything you would expect to see inside of a template is there. Just like I can go into groups, now we can have a look at an ethnic group. You can see I've added pictures here for uh, placeholder images. Um, you know, and all I've done there is basically just uh, in Realmworks, I've, I've added that in and then exported it out and it's come over here, but you can obviously do this anyway. The point being though that these are just notes, all right? They're just notes. 
that have been set up in a way that can be used for other purposes. So you could create anything in here. All right. You can format them any way you like. You can add whatever information you like um, and they become available as a template. And let's go through and show you how that works. So we've got our templates. They're in folders so I can keep them nice and structured and controlled. We're going to go ahead here and create a new note. Uh, it's just a test note. Testing templates. All right. And remember the hotkey we set before? We're going to use that. So press Alt T. And you can see that now my templates come up and I've got a whole list here. Um, all right, so I'm going to make an NPC. Um, we're going to type individual. There we go. And now we have a, uh, a template for the individual. All right, so now we can come through. All right, so this individual's name is Bob. Uh, we're going to come down here. He's a neutral male human. We're going to call him a bard. He's an adult. He's a challenge rating two. He's going to be a friend to the party. Um, and his condition at the moment, he's healthy. All right. And see how quick it is to go from template to content. And obviously you can go into this as much as you like, but all I had to do to get here was basically go Alt T, pick the template I want and in it goes really sort of fantastic way to, to sort of set things up. Um, now what we can do, you know, is probably take this a bit further. And I, I, I said at the start, I probably wasn't going to focus on this, but let's, let's have a look. So I haven't just got story templates or mechanical templates. What I'm starting to do is think outside the box a little bit and go, you know what? I'm not that great with Markdown. There's, there's parts of the markdown language that I, I'm not really good with. Um, so what I'm going to do is start to create templates that, you know, we'll, we'll basically test that. So for example, my new monster. All right. I know I need a monster. All right. Let's call him Bob the Beast. We want to make a new monster for Bob the Beast. Now I've been using the uh, TTRPG stat block plugin and uh, you know that's fantastic for displaying fifth edition stat blocks in a really nice formatted way so I want to use that again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press alt T to bring up my templates and as you can see I've got uh, quite a few of them here um, I do need to remember how I did this but I've gone insert so insert uh, all right so insert custom monster oh I called it custom monster I'll need to change that but here's my custom monster template. All right, now I've cut and pasted this directly from the help file that came with the TTRPG stat block plugin. Um, but now what I can do is I can come here and start to fill this in. So Bob the Beast, uh, he's a medium, he's a type human, uh, humanoid, I think it is. He's an orc, he's neutral. His AC is 15, he has 21 health, his hit dice is 4d6, just making this up. His speed is 30 feet, uh, his stats, we'll just go with 10, 12, yeah, we'll go back to 12, go back to 10, and we're doing 8. All right, so just as an example there, you can see that that's already starting to sort of come together. Um, I might need to get some of my, oh no, that's all working. Medium humanoid or neutral stat blocks are working. I haven't gone down this far yet. Um, but basically you can see that you can use templates for other purposes. Let's go through and have a look at another one. So Alt T, insert. All right, I need to have a, where is it? In, an encounter. All right. So I've got my encounter that brings in three creatures. I can press my button uh, that creates uh, the, the combat over here when we've got the commoners that can now be brought into our combat. Um, or we could go a bit further and maybe let's see what else have we got. Insert uh, a rollable table. Here we go. 
So in case I forget um, what the syntax is for setting up a rollable table, um, I can just import this and I get an example. And obviously I can just adapt this now using uh, entries from other tables and that sort of thing. It just really speeds me up. So um, look, that that's pretty much all there is to it. As you can see, templates are incredibly powerful. Um, it really just sort of adds that efficiency layer to what you're doing. Um, you can organize them in your folder structure however you like. You can go through and set your templates up with all of your metadata and your tags. Um, you know, it's just a placeholder there or a reminder so you can uh, be ready and obviously have that good to go. Um, and you can use it for other things. So you don't just have to use it for your, your story elements or your monsters. You can actually go ahead and use it for all your mechanical elements as well and use it as placeholders for all of the, the, the code that you're not going to remember. Um, and just while I'm thinking about it, let's just have a look at what some of these look like just so that you get an idea. Here's an insert map as a leaflet, for example. All I've done, guys, is literally cut and paste the text from the help files of that plugin into here. All right, and just change the plugin so it points to something that's actually in my realm. And that's it. All right, now all I have to do is go new. Here we go. Alt T, insert map. Cool. I've got my map there, just like that. All right, if I want to change it, I just modify this and give it a new ID. Don't forget the first video I made on Leaflet, you do have to change your ID. But that's it, that's, that's all there is to it. All right, templates are amazing. Use them, guys, it's really, really fantastic. So, anyway, hopefully, you're enjoying this content. If you are, too, please do like and subscribe using the buttons, you know where to find them. Uh, outside of that, huge thanks to my Patreons. Really enjoying sort of engaging with you guys over there. Uh, certainly the projects we're starting to look at now are, are looking rather interesting. Um, anyone who wants to find us, obviously you can use the links in the description below. Um, but outside of that, guys, uh, I'll speak to you on the forums. Have a great day.